So I am back with the latest Destiny 2 news and today we cover nerfs, delays, stasis, max level and more. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So over the past few days since the launch of Beyond Light we have seen a few ups and downs as you'd expect when a new DLC launches especially with Bungie. But with Beyond Light it's probably fair to say it's more so broken than past DLCs. Now to start, let's talk about stasis and the effect it's having on PvP. Now when I first jumped back into PvP, I won't lie, I utterly hated it. I really did. Being frozen every 10 seconds was super annoying. I jumped on social media to let my thoughts be heard as you do, well in my case anyway, and I also saw that 85% of the community also hated stasis in PvP. I mean to the point of some of them even boycotting it. But you know what I did? I kept playing. And well, I ended up getting used to this new subclass and the direction it had taken PvP. And in the end, it wasn't as bad as I first thought. Now for sure, some of the new stasis abilities need toning back. And while one major issue I have with stasis and the effect in PvP it has is the fact it slows the momentum of the game down way too often. Being frozen in place by grenades is too much in my opinion. You literally can't act or do anything about it either. If stasis touches your big toe, you are frozen and an easy target. You can't shoot back, you can't retaliate. I mean, I have no problems with the supers doing it, no problems with Salvation Group doing it, but every grenade doing it is utterly deaf, considering when you're playing 636, a lot of people built into strength, grenades going off all over the place, I don't think it's great. Maybe they should change it so it slows you down and it doesn't freeze you in place, but not having the ability to fight back once being hit with a grenade is against what PvP is in my opinion. But besides that, I really wasn't bothered about stasis. The only other thing that annoyed me about PvP is how good the Crimson seems to be now. I ain't tried it out myself yet, but damn, I was getting destroyed by it. But yes, stasis in PvP isn't as bad as many people are making out, even though I would agree some of it does need toning back. Okay, so moving on and staying on the subject of stasis, Trials of Osiris has been cancelled up until the end of the month. Reason being, many believe, the Warlock Infinite Stasis Super Glitch, which was covered by Cheese Forever. This allows you to get infinite Warlock Super anywhere in the game, PvE or PvP. And this is the reason many people believe Trials has been postponed. I mean, can't they just disable Warlocks? That makes more sense to me. So yeah, Trials won't return until November 27th, meaning we get to play the Raid first, which arrives on the 21st of November. Also, something else which is broke, the Witherhood Grenade Launcher, which is utterly crazy now, or was, especially in PvP. I mean, it was crazy before Beyond Light, but now Beyond Light is here, it's bust. What happened to it, we don't know, but what we do know is if you stepped into that death pool it leaves on the floor, even for a split second, I think two steps, you are dead. No matter what you do, you are dead. It's draining the health, which is crazy. And while with this, the grenade launcher has been disabled. Now they've just dropped a hotfix for the game. Now if this fixes anything, I do not know because the game ain't back up yet and we have no patch notes while I'm doing this video. So we don't know yet. But yeah, the withhold has been disabled due to a PvP glitch also. So yes, a few busted things with Beyond Light, but all in all, I think it's quite good. Now you know what I'm like? I say how it is. But I don't think Beyond Light is as bad as people are making out, but that's just my opinion. Let me know yours down below in that comments section. And while to end the video, guys, someone has already hit 1260 power level. I mean, I'm struggling here at 1220 right now. But Kim.com states he played for 40 hours straight. Like, man, I think there are better things to do, but that's just me. I never got the whole I must be first to something, but on the other hand, some people, I guess, love the grind. So good for them. But that is it, people. The latest news surrounding Destiny 2 Beyond Light. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more D2, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But well, guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.